What's going on guys, we're back at it with another Polo G reaction. This is an unreleased Polo G song, so I didn't realize this is even a thing. I didn't realize how many artists get their music leaked, dude, and that sucks. Cause they, it's tough, like a lot of people say, oh dude, why isn't Bibby releasing Party Never Ends? It's because all the fucking songs are getting leaked. So they are trying to put songs out that we haven't heard, or at least haven't heard like the whole fucking thing. You know, they might release a song that's been leaked, but it's not the extended version, and then they release the extended version. Like the one song that I really... Already Dead, the OG, was so much of a better song. I will react to it. I'm pretty sure it was already dead. There was one song that I said that the OG was better. Um, other than uh, Wander to LA. I think we all can agree that Justin's first one that was kind of ass. But, bro, the fact that people still the fuck with his music, uh, it gets plays on the radio. So I, that's kind of the only reason I'm still really accepting it. <laughs> people might think like, oh, dude, you're Canadian. You like Drake and Justin. No, I, I really don't. I don't dislike them. I just, I don't listen to their music but anyways let's get it oh this is Poggy emotion, emotional roller coaster gonna fucking show. fuck my bad uh, reflection of me I get us matching G-Wagon seen a lot of women in my life girl you the baddest if you call, I'm coming, I do the dash quick Sorry if it's hard to show emotions, I'm a savage Love scars, trusted them, they took my heart and stabbed it I've been through a lot, but could you be the one I vibe with? Petite thing, brown skin, long hair, facets I really felt love at first sight, the shit like magic A nigga like me, they never had it One thing I gotta give credit to Polo G about Is the fact he he's open about his emotions with girls Not like, bro, she's sexy, she's got a fat ass but he's like Lil Durk, very similar, right? And I, they're both from Chicago, which is fucking dope. Um, they are accepting of the fact that... Like, they're open about their emotions about somebody that they love. You know what I'm saying? Like, like and that's something that not a lot of artists do. Because they, they look at that as, I guess, like degrading or whatever. And I personally don't get that. It's like when people say men don't cry. Or that our men shouldn't cry because it makes them weak. I definitely don't agree with that. Sometimes, unfortunately, you just, you gotta cry. You know what I'm saying? It's a natural emotion that we all get. I don't see why that makes us weak. So, um, I mean, now, if you're fucking screaming bloody murder over a paper cut and you're crying, you know, that's a little, seek medical attention, but mental medical attention. But anyway, <laughs> anyways. Friends can't give you advice cause I ain't average Know we got our ups and downs but look how long we lasted Don't want us to ever be a thing or the past tense Emotional roller coaster. Please don't go, I'll hold you closer In and out, you so bipolar I just hope this love ain't over Emotional roller coaster. In and out, you're just so bipolar I just hope that this ain't over Is this him talking more about the girl like this is the one thing I can relate to, partly. I have dated a girl that was really fucking crazy. Like, not like she's going to kill me, but crazy in the sense, dude, she'd have mood swings. <clears throat> Basically, to put it as respectfully as possible, it was as if she was going through that time of the month every single fucking day. It was very unpredictable. Did not last very long. This is the one time I can guarantee it wasn't me. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I might have been the reason for a breakup with past other relationships and shit, because I've been in so many. Uh, but <laughs> I was a hoe back in the day. <laughs> Please don't go, I'll hold you closer. In and out, you so bipolar. I just hope this love ain't no can't seem to get over you, over you. I just want to be close to you, close to you. just want to be close to you. Oh, I'm tired of the... One thing I, <clears throat> I... I fuck with Polo G for is his melodic uh, style of music. 
kind of like, like, it's not just like gospel, it's not like Rod Wave type shit, but it's, it still bangs, dude. Like, some people might compare it to Drake, because Drake does this too, but like, he doesn't do it the same as Polo G, and I, I, I can't stress that enough. Again, a guy that's in tune with his emotions, and he's not afraid to let that show in a song, to me, just elevates you as an artist in any aspect. It doesn't matter what kind of music you do. A lot of guys are scared to put their heart into a song, specifically when it comes to romantic interest, dude. Now, that is partly because I have seen some rappers, I'm not naming names here, I'm not trying to get into any fucking political shit, that have fucked up by doing that and kind of gotten themselves cancelled, if you will. But it happens to the point where, like, it's like people are scared of doing that shit, and I, I think... I have to commend Polo G for being able to fucking do that, dude. Solid as fuck. Gotta, gotta, I gotta respect the guy for that. Love your bright smile like VBS is when they sparkling. Turn the lights down and then we sexing in the dark again. Feel like I pray for you, you the blessing I was targeting. I know I play my part in this. No matter what, man, I know my feelings won't stop. All this time away from you, like staring at a slow clock. Pull you close and whisper in your ear while you on top. Baby, please don't go. Emotional roller coaster. So, that, wow, dude. <laughs> I don't want to make Polo G sound like he's, like, not a great person, not a good person, or he's a bad person. Again, this guy's admitting fault. Another thing that guys tend not to fucking do. I can tell you that. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, dude? This, this guy goes... He, this song right here, this is heavy as fuck. This is definitely a put-me-on song. If they were... If they're willing to listen to, like, leaks. But... And like I said, I get, I get comments on you guys, from you guys, from, well, not you guys, but from people, from certain individuals that just berate the fuck out of me because I'm listening to leaked music. It's as if, and I get, like, their point, but, like, it's not as if I'm directly involved in the leak. I'm just listening to it because it's another song from an artist that I fuck with. So I personally don't look at that as being bad. I get... Technically speaking, it is taking money out of the artist's pocket or the label or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I get that, right? But like at the same time, I, I'm not. I don't. I don't think I'm wrong, nor doing something bad to the artist by listening to their leaks, because I'm not the one that leaked it. If I was leaking their shit, and you guys start bashing me, bro, I completely get that because I have no no respect for people that go, because I can't imagine it's something that just anybody can do, right, you gotta, I assume, hack the computer, some, something, you know, something, I don't know how, and you do this for, like, basically a living, kind of, right, because I've seen a lot of posts where people get exposed for basically, pop, like, selling leaks and shit, pioneering that kind of shit, and it's disgusting, because I can't imagine... Given how many songs I've listened to they have on YouTube alone that are unreleased, I can't imagine how much more money he would have had if he's never had a song leak. I mean, I would have, that would have been probably my most, like, if I had to, like, for an artist, that would, that would be my biggest dream is to have an artist that never gets their song leaked and it's like Juice WRLD that just puts out constant bangers because the potential that he, that he had was there. With Polo G, though, like, I, I got way off topic. Sorry, guys. With Polo G, <laughs> the song is over? Is it over? Christ almighty, it's not even over. Let's just, let's just finish the song. You closer, in and out, you so bad, Polo. I just hope this love ain't over. Emotional roller coaster. Please don't go, I'll hold you closer. In and out, you so bad, Polo. I just hope this love ain't over. Can't seem to get over you, over you. Just wanna be close to you, close to you. Just wanna be close to you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Whatever female this song was about. Or whoever the female is that he's referring to. Um, bro. 
What are you waiting for? Now, granted, I don't know how old this song is. This is just a song that's recently been leaked. I have no idea how old the song is. So this could have been about somebody that he was fucking with like years ago. But given how really professional it sounds, this is definitely a song I feel like was more in the recent, like in the last few years, last two years specifically. But I don't know. But my whole thing is, this is a banger of a fucking song. If you guys did enjoy this with me, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. If you guys enjoyed the song, let me know why. Give me your fucking input, man, because you guys are doing a very, very solid fucking piff job at not only watching, liking, but subscribing and comments, dude. I would actually prefer you guys don't subscribe, but at least comment on the video, because at the end of the day, interaction for me is what I love. I love getting to talk with you guys. If you get, if you guys want me to start a Discord, because I've been thinking about doing this, I'm going to post on my Instagram story. I am thinking about starting a Discord channel or account, whatever they're called, and basically a making it like a social community for us, because I love getting to speak with you guys, getting to talk about whatever the fuck it is, weed, music, other shit, you know what I'm saying, you know, I mean... As long as you guys keep it respectful, uh, fuck, I fuck with it. Now, if you guys want that, let me know in the comment section, and I'll make that shit happen as soon as possible. That shit's going to drop like a girl's panties on a Saturday night when I'm over, and you think that, uh, you know, you're, you're just out with your boys having a drink, thinking she's all alone, just sleeping. She's sleeping all right. But anyways, <laughs> before you get to my door and kick my ass, i got to wrap this up because i got to go into hiding. Um, thanks for watching. Love you guys.